First of all, you have Bindi, then you get Robin. How difficult was it for you to transition them into your home? So with Bindi, it was a case of lots of time and patience. What seemed to be a problem was, well, I'll give you one example. She would almost forget you or forget what you looked like. I would put a change of clothes on that she hadn't seen before. And I would come down the stairs and she would be absolutely terrified. The other thing she couldn't cope with, and she still can't, doesn't matter whether it's me or anybody else, carrying things. So if you're carrying a box or you've got a suitcase or you're shopping, she's straight behind the sofa. People that are particularly men, but I would say anybody who say, say in winter has got a, a thick coat on, hat, scarf, gloves, terrified. And I don't think that that will, will ever, ever leave her. And now, Robin, did you have similar issues with him or was it very different? I think with Robin, what I would say the, the one thing is, is that he can be a little bit too confident with other dogs. And he has a very intense bond with me so he likes to be in the same room as me at all times i'm surprised actually he was at my feet but normally he's <laughs> he's lying at my feet he's lying next to me on the sofa our, our bodies have to be touching i take him to bed with me victoria which i know is no it's actually not it's people think that i'm the person that's like don't sleep with your dog <laughs> don't but i'm really not it's just that i work with a lot of people whose dogs don't let them get in, get into bed or so that's where they have to come off the bed but no no my okay. chihuahua sleeps in my bed so oh, that's carry fine. on yes well so bindi i can leave her in the kitchen at night on her bed happy as larry robin will not stay in that kitchen with her if he knows i'm in the house if he knows i'm not there and i'm out not a problem so he comes to bed with me and he, yeah, if anything, he's been a little bit too confident. What would your advice be to people that are thinking um, that either have uh, adopted a dog from a similar situation in their home or are thinking of doing, of doing so? What would you say to them? Rescue, I believe, is always the way to go if you can. But you obviously have to be aware that that dog is not going to be a blank canvas. It takes time and patience. So as long as you've got the time and the patience and the, the love to give them and you've, you've done your research, don't expect the dog to think like you. You have to, to think like the dog. And if you do rescue a dog, it is the most incredibly rewarding thing you will ever do. But you have got to, you've got to think about it. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.